<laughs> I have some questions. <laughs> okay, fire away. Okay. Okay. I want to know. Oh, first, let me introduce Terry. She is internationally known as an author, a speaker, a teacher, and an amazing person. She had her own television show, uh, gosh, in the 80s? And then in the 90s? 79 wow. through 85. And she is darn funny. She could be a stand-up <laughs> comedian as well. And, uh, and so, and then I'm catching up after all these years, because I, I, you know, happened to find her on YouTube. Here she is. She's wonderful. And she just wrote a new book. We'll talk about that. Hi, Terry. Hi, Mary. Thank you so much. I love your life. Yeah. Yeah, all the things you've done. We're, like, cut out of the same cloth. Yes. Which is great. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. so fun to meet mm -hmm. Terry, because all this, you know, I just like, oh my God, Terry Cole Whitaker. She makes you laugh. I read the books. She, you inspired me so much in my life. Thank you, Mary. That's what I want to do. That makes me happy. Yes. And, okay, so my first thing is, well, how did you change, how and what made you change your life so much where you evolved from what you were there to now in Mount Shasta? Tell us about that. Okay, it's real easy. I bought the whole belief system mm -hmm. that if you attained beauty, wealth, success, celebrity status, and all that, everybody would love you, everything would be <laughs> wonderful, everything would work just great, mm -hmm. and it doesn't. And what I, what I got was, which was so great about, I attained everything that I'd ever wanted, ever desired, ever thought that I, you know, should, uh, and it was, it was fine, but... I realized, you know what? I'm really not happy inside. Mm. I'm stressed. Mm -hmm. Here I'm teaching how not to be, but I'm stressed. Yeah. And uh, I found I was being an administrator all the time, and I'm really a teacher. Yeah. So I w and then so I started to look. I said, well, when? Because then I started. I still had issues with relationships. I had issues with this and that. And then I started to go. When was I? And then, mm. when were you happy? Really blissful. Okay. And then I thought, I don't want people to follow me because they'll wind up where I am, having <laughs> all this knowledge, all the information, and still there's stuff missing. What is it? And I and so I started looking. When was I really blissful? Nature. Nature. Running around barefooted. Yes. Uh, Kali's sake, living close to nature, trees, breathing, animals. Uh, but of course, being with my children or teaching, those were blissful times. Nice. And and I luckily I grew up in the Sierras, and my great I lived I got away from my parents when I was really really little, because they weren't quite at my level of spiritual development. I so, read that um, in your book. I'm like, how did you know to get away from them? Well, wow. I remember when I was born, and I was really mad that I was here again. I was screaming. Oh, oh I didn't bum, read that Did a bum bum bum. You're well, like, no, I don't want to be here. I don't know. What am I doing here? And then I realized when, when I was really little, maybe 18 months, I'm standing at the door uh, looking at my mom, and she's sucking her thumb. She's And she's uh -oh. only 17. Oh, she's a Eight, baby. baby. And I said, uh oh, my mom's a baby. I better oh. get out of here. And you were how old? 18 months old. I better you knew but it. My great grandmother, though, she was my spiritual partner. Yeah. And she's also my grand granddaughter. I mean, I was to, not. Nobody told tells me stuff. I think I'm into. You got to have your own realizations. Not someone says, "Oh, you were this and you were that." Well, that's Absolutely. interesting and that hooks people. But no, I'm not. You know. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, I thought, where was I really happy? And and so, then it was. Um, I had a wonderful friend at the time who uh, started going. So oh, so good. started traveling. I had never really. I had been maybe to Europe, but not mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. Just like you, you know, and, and so yeah. I started traveling, and I went to uh, uh, Israel, and I went to, I went all over the world, you know, just not like as much as you, but a lot of places, and um, yeah, yeah, lived, started living in Hawaii, oh, swimming, okay. jumping in the pools, uh, and going back to what was really my nature. There it comes, the same cloth. Yes, because I, I and, and it's so cool, because... I was talking to one of my students the other day, she's in my mentoring program, and 
she's like a, a stockbroker and completely lost all of her money gambling because it's, it's very it is gambling. <laughs> and she said, I went back to do the thing I did to earn the money to, to do the stock market, so I lost money and now i got to go back. Yeah. But she was so stressed and so afraid. And she said, you know, I have a, and I said, first of all, you guys start breathing. Yeah. People aren't breathing. Oh, people are not breathing. No, no oxygen, no, and not drinking the water. Mm -hmm. And then all of these bottled waters have fluoride. Oh, what is it? That's uh, why it tastes. It was with the man, uh, what do you call it, uh, the uh, crystal geyser. Yeah. That's the most. That oh, feature. and they're the ones that want to come in. They Dying. Mm -hmm. Shapeshifter. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, don't move your person. I'm out. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, okay, so that was it. So it was like to go back into nature, and like my student, I s finally what got her really back to herself, she found a little stream by her house down in the Bay Area, wow. and she went waiting and breathing. All of a sudden, I got it. Why would you live in a 85-story building, never <laughs> touch the ground, <laughs> never have water, everything's bottled, everything's this, got, you don't know how to grow food, you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. you know? So my body's almost 80. You know, it's like 78 or something wow. like that, I don't figure. But I, cool. Sorry, body, I wasn't trying to tell you that you're old. You that know. you were even have an age. <laughs> I Sometimes I believe it if I have. say the age. We don't. I, I don't say that. I've been around, do. you know, forever. We're eternal. That's yeah. our nature. Right? Yeah. You don't I feel die. like we're going the other way. It's a racket to tell you that you die all the time, all the time. Keep people scared, afraid, and so they don't know that you got to know when you do decide if you want to when you drop this concept of the 3d body you want to know you have to be so firmly in yourself you don't go to the light you don't go to the tunnel these are all rackets to get you back hooked in the reincarnation cycle again uh -huh. to suck your life force uh -huh. and your energy because we create electricity our, our nature is energy and we energize oh, so okay that leads me to another question mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. i was watching one of your videos mm -hmm. about the uh, positive aspect of conflict. This just mm -hmm. made me think of it with mm -hmm. what you said, but because sometimes it seems like people's mm -hmm. electricity just kind of misaligns or something. But tell me about your thoughts on that. And maybe well, your you mean like with people, like where you match with people or not? Or not, because doesn't it seem like with conflict that there's this thing where it just doesn't seem to be aligned? Like, but then when you said positive aspect, there's got to be a good thing. There's with always, that. oh yeah, 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 because I mean, there's two kind of concepts. Well, you can there. also. I think it's also important to know that who you fit with and who you don't. Yeah, and it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just some people you just saw, and it could be past life stuff, it could be who knows, you remind them of somebody else, they remind, because see, people are stuck in their mind, and they believe their mind and their thoughts. Oh, man. So that's all they do. They're judging, evaluating based on their training, their hypnotic trance, what they were told is true and not. So they're just dangerous, a lot of people, because they're just spouting yeah. all this and the negative energy I don't even want to call it negative because then you got positive and negative and they you have to have positive and negative they will operate together but in mm -hmm. well okay so that leads me to another mm -hmm. thing the positive aspects of conflict and also what about mental illness I mean there's just it's there well first of all the mental illness it's all them thoughts right is okay. it mind thoughts yeah Okay, the word government, govern is control, <coughs> ment is mensa, which is mind. Yeah. So that's, if you le understand the language, and English is a spell casting language, made uh, uh, etymology from many different languages come together. That's mm -hmm. why we want the whole world to speak English, because we're spell casting on ourselves. Writing our name is in cursive. So what does that mean? You're cursing yourself? <laughs> I never thought of it that it's way. It's just the word adult. Adult is a stupid person. Adult, yes. So they call, oh, are you an adult? Well, then you say, yeah, I'm a stupid person. <laughs> no, <laughs> people say, oh, well, word. you're too much. Well, really, do you know what you're saying when you use your language? Because language, every it, when you understand the language, the vibration of the language uh, creates manifestation. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. See, the vibration, okay. this is all thoughts down to the lowest uh, frequency, just like a fan. If a fan is on high speed, you can't see the blades, right? You see through it. I, it I don't think so. <laughs> You're saying something profound, and I'm like, wait, is the camera? It says that it is. Okay, so Oh, okay. We're I on. must have turned off the thing. Okay. We're still on. Yay. Here. It goes for about 15 minutes, oh, so yeah, it stops. Okay. okay, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 it's, it's the words. It's just, I like the word retire. It means get tired again. Because <laughs> you have you, you have that. prefixes and affixes. So it's a fix. They're fixes. So they fix. They take the word adult and you put ad before it. Uh -huh. So a adult. You take the word Abraham. It's a Brahmin. Oh. And bra an A before it meant a fallen Brahmin. Met from a fallen priest. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. You yeah. start to read the language. You know, if, if people say, well, and, and you study that, and you, you pronounce it in a little different way, mm -hmm. say it a little different, and the way the mind picks it up, it, even words that sound the same, yeah. they are the same. Like tear and tear. Tear and tear. Oh, that's a tear. There's a tear. Creates a tear. But going back to that mental yeah. illness thing. Oh, the mental illness. It what? starts, I used to volunteer at the Camarillo State Hospital in Ventura. Oh. And oh. I would work with people in drug addiction and in the children. Well, the shocking thing with the children was that they were all born normal. Yeah. But it was their people they were around. Exactly. Whether it's the parents, the foster parents, the government, whoever is controlling. Yeah. These little people had weird stuff. Yeah, they do, and this is just something I'm becoming aware of in the past five stuff. years. Like all the stuff that they grow up with, and then of course they're going to be mentally ill. I mean, what well, can we... and then they have also the drugs that they give children in school, and all of the and all of this stuff is happening. So all of this messes with the head, and then people don't have a basic education on how we function. So right. it makes everything so complicated. Well, you, if you study medicine, you study psychology, you study psychiatry, you study science, uh -huh. it's all complicated, complicated, complicated. Well, I guess I can't understand. I better hire a lawyer. Well, I better get somebody <laughs> else here. And then they speak in legalese that you'll never understand because they work for the bar. And that's the crown, the triple crown. Well, but what can we do about, see, well, okay, it made me think with the conflict thing. Yeah, it's yeah. like sometimes yeah, yeah. you're like, okay, why is this conflict happening? But then you sort of like a part of you goes, well, this person is really, you know, screwed up or really mm -hmm. mentally mm -hmm. challenged. They've had like a horrible yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So then like it, it, it makes it almost impossible to have this healthy interchange. I, I work with people. I, the, one of my students is... um psychiatric nurse mm. and so she brought one of her people patients I guess you call clients oh. to two of different retreats that I had up here okay. in Shasta and the first one you could tell she was really drugged out okay and she'd been uh, uh, I guess raped repeatedly as a child and it's all this trauma yeah and all of this stuff and so what the difference in her from the first retreat to the next one she took was fabulous it was like because what I work on is I shift things from remember I mentioned I left my parents when I was really young to go live with my great-grandparents yeah. and knew to do that yes when you shift things from okay this this person did this to me okay to the, the divine showed up okay as this person I like that. and then I had my choice how I'm going to respond or how I'm going to react. I like and, it. And instead of my saying, my parents sent me to my great-grandmother, is I left my parents and I went to live with my great-grandmother. I like that much better. It's There's freeing. The choice. It's freeing. And you remember knowing this. I remember that. And I, making it happen. Exactly. That's and I don't know thing. how it happened, but I just know my choices. And then... Um, and it works so great because my grandmother was a spiritual person. She was into unity, metaphysics, wow. uh, you know, spiritual things. And she was also Irish. So she'd read the cards and she'd do the the tea leaves. And, uh, and Irish people are always funny. Oh, yes. <laughs> they just are. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. My parents are funny. We did. We sang a lot. No, no, I had a wonderful childhood. I, I, everybody's telling, well, I was in a dysfunctional family, I was in this, I was in this, I have, what is it, everybody's got, I've got abandonment issues, well, get over it. Well, don't you, and I had a good childhood too. I, but no, but still, if you're suffering, it's not happening now. It's is it, not happening no, now. where is it happening? Right. Right there. Right. But it's not now, so why are you suffering now for something that happened 35 years ago, or yeah. 10 years, or one minute ago? Right. One minute ago, you're carrying it. 
Yeah, you, you know? can wake up. It, it, and the, when you wake up, you got to look at basically how does the mind function. Mm -hmm. And to me, it we don't need a mind because we're divine beings. We don't need to be fragmented. So when you're in the now, and that's a lot of my work, is when you come back to the, the now. Okay. <sighs> nothing's going on but you being. <laughs> that's so true. No, it is. And then the moment the mind will come in. Yeah, it starts. It starts bringing up old dialogue. The yep. mind will start saying, "What you're going to do in the future? Happened. What did they mean by that? Right? You know, I'm going to get even. I'm going to get that. So what are you doing? You're suffering. So yeah. why am I contributing? So I always say the mind is the greatest terrorist weapon ever invented, and that's why all the promotion, everything that's alive, is continually, continually promoted through all media. Over and over and over and over and over until after a while you doubt yourself. Okay. You that's doubt it. your own knowing. You say, well, what do I know? I guess they knew and I don't know anything because I'm so stupid out here when you know everything. And that could be the beginning of mental illness too. It's all based on, you know, all the I was trauma. told you're called stupid because see we get commands and, and we we're subject to suggestion. Yeah. So when someone says to the kid, you know, you can't do anything right. When are you gonna do something right? Or some Somebody, the teacher in school says, you know, you were, you know, and let them ridicule somebody or do something. The child then, and when they say you can't do anything right, they go, I can't do anything right. So there's a part of the brain, the command goes there, and the person always thinks that when it's just a thought. You have to get, what is the thoughts? Made of letters and yeah. sounds? Yeah. That are given meaning by someone else gave us the meaning, and it's in the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Yoni Neri? <laughs> no. Yoni Neri. I like that. <laughs> Yoni Neri. <laughs> we all know what a Yoni is, yeah. don't we? Yes. So the dictionary. No. But we've given <laughs> all these meanings. And then you're told, you don't, you don't feel, so we're controlled by fear and guilt. That's for sure. Fear and guilt. But how do and we... And that we're guilty for what everybody did years ago. What do you mean? I wasn't there. I didn't do that. Plus, with reincarnation, everybody's been every color, yeah. every nationality. Right. Every sex, every this, every that, but you gotta keep everybody fighting because why? What's mental illness? You're fighting with yourself. We forget You've it. You've got an identity oh, crisis because okay. you don't know who you are, oh, and you're conflicted because you want to please them. You want to please them. You want them to like you. You want him to stop beating you, you know. And so you get around. Then you got a lot of passive aggressive people. You get a lot of psychopathic people, sociopathic people. Because, and then with trauma, they say mm -hmm. if a child is a, a virtually sexually abused and traumatized around three and a half, they'll be controlled by that. And then they abuse. Yeah. See, so, you know, it's it just keeps the on mental then. illness means you don't know who you are and you're not in your right mind. Yeah, did you get that? You don't know who no, you are, are and you're not in your right mind. And you I can like get that. back to who you are. Don't help me so much when you said criticism is envy. Yes. Wow, it really is. That that doesn't mean you just agree with everything uh -huh. because you go, well, hey, that doesn't. But th there's a viciousness in criticism. Yeah, that's always looking to find fault. Why? Because we have a program that's so deep that says you're not good enough. Yeah. The and I'll tell you, everybody that I've worked with, I used to have it. Almost everybody that says, I don't feel worthy. I'm not good enough. That's a lie. <laughs> because we're programmed subliminally all the time. Well, the elitists are good, and the celebrities is, but you're nothing. To, how much is they say? How <laughs> much is somebody famous. is worth? Well, they're worth eight million dollars. Oh, Who's yeah. this person? Well, they're worth nothing because they don't have any money. Are you serious? They're fully packed. You know, we're whole, complete, and perfect. Every single individual, completely, you know, with with the divine, has all the powers, all the abilities, all of that. But we're told over and over again on all levels. That we're not capable, we can't do it, we don't know, we don't have the power, we don't have the ability, yeah. and then we're so programmed for materialism that people keep trying and going for it and going for it, but they never make it, and the next thing is going to be it, and I'll finally get there. You already made it. You already won. You already got it all. But people don't know that. Yeah, what a relief. Yeah. Just you don't even there. have to do anything. Isn't that incredible? Why would you pay rent on an earth that you took birth on? That's stupid. It's because somebody owned it. People think they own their houses. No, you're renting them. That's you don't right. pay the tax. You lose it. It's gone. It's already in the books. It belongs to the, the Jesuits and the Queen and the Crown and 
They already did it hundreds of why on paper. Papal, what's paper made? We wrote these things in paper and it means it's a law and it means it's true. We own you. No, you don't. So what it's you're saying papal. is if, rules and laws. Okay, mm -hmm. but if, if, if getting back to the criticism, is yes, it like if, if if somebody like comes at you with like a, a load of it? <laughs> oh yeah, they're really envious. Okay, see, they're that... envious of you. They want you to be miserable. They want you to take away because they can't stand your happiness, your love, your 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 wow. fun of how you're living, and because everybody's judging themselves all the time, and the only time they feel good is either. When they're, what would you say, eating their fakey ice cream, or, <laughs> or maybe have you know sex for a minute to relieve for them a minute, for yes. a minute and go back to their same miserable self again. But yeah, because they have no idea of the power of their own thoughts, the words, their emotions, yeah. how they manifest, yeah. that they're creator. So yeah, I always say it's a poverty consciousness because always looking for to criticize others. And if you notice any of these, like Hollywood or theatrical critics, they were actors who couldn't get a job. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> Come on. That's right. And I remember, like, when my television ministry, and it was just, you know, I was, it was doing great, everything. I loved it, except the part I didn't love was I wasn't in nature. Yeah. And I And I was being an administrator but anyway you're in the bright lights but see this is, I do want to know that though mm -hmm. how you shifted from that whole thing I mean that took was a while like, it was wow. like being on uh, withdrawals from heroin almost I don't know what that is but still yeah it was the whole idea because uh, to be famous yeah. Uh, to uh, to do all that kind of thing, I worked for it. Oh yeah, and and uh, to do my work, to get it out to people, I work, 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 and I realized, but I what I was missing something. So why that's why I then went on my journey oh, to find okay. what was missing because yeah. I don't want to be teaching people stuff that would wind up the way I was. And oh, now, I see. You know what I'm saying? I see now. I and, see now. And and uh, yeah, and I already did it. You I already, already was a celebrity. I already did that. <laughs> I went, well, more of this? Standing in a cocktail party, holding a drink, and, you know, what's, what's for lunch? You know, I mean, it's like, That's I already funny. been there. And then you enter those realms, and there's a whole different category of people there. Meaning? Well, okay, you get into the celebrity yeah. status, yeah, and then come the, the sex people. The sex people. Because then they want to make it with you, and you, and you, and you. And do they use that to go when, uh, and then after we do that, then you'll get this. Is it like that? Well, it's kind of like that, too. It depends. It's like, you know, it's the, um, what may I say? One of the things, you, you, you notice this because you've traveled a lot. Yeah. But just like we went to the fair up here at Wairika. Okay. And it was yeah. fair. <laughs> I wondered about the Why fair. Why don't they call it an excellence? I know. It's come to the fair. It, it was, was only a, fair. It was only fair. <laughs> and and uh, well, I mean, what was what was so uh, cool about it? You know, you, you you go to the fair and you see how people are living and what they're doing, and 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 it was fun in that way. But I don't know why I started talking about the fear. Oh, because uh, we were talking about um, the criticism and the envy, and then you were saying about oh, the sex people. Oh, the sex yeah, people yeah, 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 when yeah. you get up in the celebrity. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, you do because what I notice at the fair, there's people who do knitting. So mm -hmm. you've got knitting people are sitting out the knitting people, and they're spinning and they're making their quilts. Well, they have their own language. Their own group. Now you got the other group ride Ferris wheels. They'll go all around the world <laughs> looking at big rides. Yeah. And you'll meet these people. Okay. You got then people on motorcycles. You got people who travel the world with their kids and one could cook and the mom could do the waitress and the kids have they go to a country, they live there for a while, get the experience, pack up, leave, go to the next place. But you've got all these subcultures mm -hmm. all over. Well you've got these subcultures with the um in the celebrity status, in the highly wealthy status, mm. that don't have the same values. No, and they don't right. have that same thing. And there are also a lot of predators that are in those areas because you'll get people who want to be famous. 
you get people who want favors and then they start selling those and trading those oh. and that's a whole different world so it it's, must have been shocking yeah, it was shocking i mean because you don't expect i mean i was in the film world for a little while and i remember once this producer guy was like acting yeah. like and i'm like ew <laughs> I yeah. don't want to do it that badly. No, I don't need it. <laughs> no, no. And that was when I kind of put the whole thing aside and thought, oh, no, this is not something I can do. No, so. no, you do. you got to make your – people don't – we don't re realize we got to where we are because of our choices. Yeah, okay. And as humanity, as a group, we've made choices. But most of our choices, in a sense, were made for us. Or told us this is going to be good for you, mm. but every problem the mind solves creates another problem because that's how the mind operates. It never has a solution that's forever. But when you're here in your own inner knowing, yeah, when you solve something, it never comes back again as a problem because you looked at what was the cause of the problem. Oh, see, if you look at what the cause of the illness. Like my, I was my leg was bit by a black, a brown recluse spider, back about nine years ago, mm -hmm. and my, my leg was like huge, like this, and big old gaping holes. You know, it was eating my leg up. It was like this. It was just, and it would pop out with another thing, and it was. So I went, I I was speaking in Atlanta, <clears> so <throat> uh, I had taken a wheelchair to. Get, to the plane and got off the plane. I'm in a wheelchair because oh, I want to show up for my talk. Yeah. And so that day, uh, I thought, well, I better go to the emergency hospital. So I went to Atlanta and they said, you know, it really mean. You know, they weren't really nice, you know, and you go into, and then, and then they, they come out and they said, well, your leg will probably have to be amputated. Oh! And if you don't show up, uh, you know, get sign up today, you'll probably be dead in two weeks. Well, I don't like their prognostication. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too, that's all of the best you got? I'm leaving. And they could have taken your leg off. I don't uh, think so. No. So I got back to L.A. and I fasted with my own urine and water. Now people go, they're freaked. Oh, no. It's a whole <laughs> Ayurvedic therapy, I urine therapy. I fasted on my own water and urine. And I t boiled urine down and wrapped towels. People say, oh, you're crazy. Really? I was well in seven days. It cost me this much. I have my leg. <laughs> and you had your leg. And I'm still here. Yeah. So come on, tell oh me God, what's going scary. on. So I think, to, I think the real key to me of all of this is each person, if you really care about yourself, yeah. which I call self-honoring, you better find out what's happening, who you are, how you function, what's possible for you, mm -hmm. and not the standard story that you hear in the academic world, the medical world, the government world, the science world, the blah, blah, blah. Do your own research. Yeah. And it's more fun. I don't think people investigate enough. Well, it's they like just they, take what they get. Yeah, you just hear. I mean, I, I had to learn to question stuff, and yeah. when I did, I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't really fit that, for me. That doesn't sound right at all. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's just not logical. And people, I do feel like people do connect with their own, yeah, yeah. and then just go, oh, no, I can't listen to that. Which leads me to, um, you said, what we, in one of your recent ones, you said, what we emotionalize, we, we materialize. materialize. That's pretty powerful. Emotions are that. powerful. And what I love about studying the Vedas, because I, that's really, uh, I found it, it had the purest information and, and a lot on who we are. If you, you go into these ancient, ancient texts, not to believe it, but to go in for clues for, because yeah. we're looking for clues yeah. as to who we are. And so that, you know, that, that, where do you find it? And, uh, a lot of it, uh, that was there in the teach is there in the teaching of the Vedas uh, of who we are. And also even in healing, um, I had rheumatoid arthritis. I'm completely healed from it by changing my diet and what I ate because wow. I, I, I looked, I Googled or, however you do your search engine, the cause and natural cure for it. I found that what the cause was, I eliminated. And I was somewhere... What was the cause? Oh, well, leaky gut. Oh, food that's goes, a whole other thing. Food goes through the line, the, the intestines, because uh -huh. it's undigested, uh -huh. which is usually nightshades or grains or eating at night. 
Yeah. And so the body can't digest it. So then food particles go through the blood system and settle in your joints. Ooh. And they're inflamed. Ooh. So is that pretty much, I got to check again. Yeah. Is that pretty much the, the main reason for it? That's what I found. So there could be other reasons, or because that's yeah, 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 fascinating. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could be other, but if I found for me, I just then changed what because it, it was terrible pain, just burning, horrible pain all over the body. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you cured yourself. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, no. When you live as a wealthy person, because I say prosperity is you. Yeah. I am prosperity. Yes. When we cuz I really meditated. What is what is the thing with money? Yeah. What is the thing with stuff? Well, because when you have the money, you can do what you want. Well, why can't you do it now? Well, it's not going to be big enough. I won't have this. Mm -hmm. And one day when I make it, then I'll feel better. So you're going to be miserable for 40 years until you get what you want and then you lose it and then you're afraid. No, come on. So if 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 you're a wealthy person in your heart, yeah. You always, you do what you want because you just start doing it. If you start doing it, you take one little step, then another little step, and then another. But everybody said, well, I wish I could sing. Well, are you singing? No. Oh, I wish I could play the <laughs> piano. Well, go play. Well, I don't want. So when it really gets to me, people say, well, if I had a lot of money, I'd travel. I say, well, where? Well, I don't know. Well, then that's why you're not going. That's right. See, you and I, we've never done When we want to do something, we go do it. We just put on our sneakers and go. We go. That's right. And, and I, I take off my shoe sneakers <laughs> and get my bare foot. And I get but I did get a tapeworm going barefoot in India. Ooh. Oh, oh man. I got sicker than I've ever gotten in my whole life in India. But, you know, it's it a good thing. No, seriously, yeah. because I just looked at Fabulous. a picture of myself uh -huh. after that sickness. And, uh -huh. damn, I looked good. Don't go to a detox no, thing. No. You can just go to India. The weight will come right off. Okay. And, you yes, know, it does. I look good. We can sell India water oh. for diet. <laughs> And from the Ganga. You're, yeah, you'll, you'll lose weight. <laughs> you oh. sure will. But I saw in myself after that yeah. epic trip, the, la the, the big, yeah. I don't need to go into it, but I got so incredibly sick. Yeah. And then I saw the picture just yesterday and I thought, oh my God. You look great. That was it. I looked, I'm was like, I wish I looked like that. Yeah, was exactly. It was a cleanse. Everything came out. I didn't need. I was just mm -hmm. like, it, it complete. I mean, I wouldn't ever want to do that again. <laughs> well, one when I think I got all the malaria and the typhoid and all, because it got was I was drinking um, uh, um, sugar cane juice. Oh, I was drinking it with flies all over it. Oh, so the, maybe you're, that's what it you're was. You're not supposed to eat, drink it with the flies. I drink it, it every day, and so. they don't care if the flies are no, on it. No, no, but so. they did. We weren't used to flies. No, I've gotten ill from flies, flies as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but and don't let that stop you no, from going no. to India. <laughs> and then when I told the tapeworm, when I discovered, I said, you know, buddy, you told the I did. I said, this I'm, is my, sure I'm using did. this body now. You'll have to leave and get another one. So and I, did it? I poisoned him. How'd you do that? Went to Indian doctor because they know how to poison the, you know, but, you know, hey, this is mine. Yeah, and then, good. But, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of creatures living in. I know, it's amazing when you think about it. Yeah. I can barely get my mind around it when you think it's like, well, how could it not be? This is yes. kind of a big thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like food for some people. <laughs> I, I I like know. a tapeworm. I don't know it was a tapeworm. I know. Oh, man. That was wild. But, yeah, and it, and, it, and it was gone. But, you know, p people let themselves get all freaked out by everything. But, you know, when you really start taking responsibility for your body and your intestines and how it functions, it is a scary thing. It's a scary thing to start owning, really, this is my life to live as I choose, and it's up to me uh, what, yeah. what I go through and what I do. No matter what happened, no matter what anybody else says, it's like nobody else is going to do it for you. you and, and the resources are there, and the knowledge is there, and the people are there. Mm -hmm. And if you really care about your quality of being forever, use this. Well, I think what holds people back mm -hmm. is the fear of it. And then, you're right, it, people feel afraid. Afraid. I sure did. It's too hard. And then you got to go through it. But that's yes. where people stop. They won't. They won't. I've cleaned my liver 36 times. Wow. And because I used to be a big, you know, drinker of alcohol mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and animal eater mm -hmm. and junk food and stress and all of that. And the liver has 500 functions it performs in the body. Wow. And when I started cleaning that out, now most people won't do that, 
but would you rather go get some other operation or just why not just do the thing and uh, just face it? Well, I don't feel that people believe it. Yeah, they don't believe it. Mm -hmm. Because they've been told there's no cure yeah. or you can't do it or it's too difficult. Because look at the people that have said, no, I'm going to cure myself of cancer. And then they just do it. They just do it. They have to know that it's going to work. But exactly. The people that it, and I've known so many people. And the people that don't, they're just like, oh, okay, I guess oh, i got to wow. go do chemo. I don't know. Ow. 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 I don't want to do that. No, and gonna, we don't have to. We don't have to. I, well, I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get it. No, 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 no. I have a theory that stuff passes through the body. Uh -huh. And if and there's symptoms that happen. If you go go then 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 they're going to treat that system now. You, symptom now you're really in trouble because you're not going to let go of the system. The sim symptom. Which is the chemo. Yeah, all of that. No, don't do that. I no, know. I wouldn't. That's why no. I didn't even take my kitty out to the doctor. I gave colloidal silver, and I massaged her. My little kitty's all better. Oh, nice. And she's my granddaughter. Oh. Is that my daughter passed away? And she gave me her key. Oh, so I, that's my grandchild. That's all right. That's the way it goes. She had a beautiful passing. Oh. And see, and then you talk about emotions. Yeah. It's really cool when you shift your consciousness. Okay. Your perception. Yeah. And yeah. when I when I was losing Suzanne and she's relieved and everything, I let myself feel my feelings, but I didn't label them grief. I labeled them love and separation, and I could feel the depth of my love for my child. It was good. And then you feel the feeling. People are feel See, people are so stuck in emotions, they don't even feel their feelings of love and compassion oh, yeah. and caring. They're so into the fear and the anger and the get even and the criticism and who did they think they are and blah, 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 blah. They're going, it's a mind. That's a mind. Mm -hmm. Is that what you want? Is that where you're going? Yeah, it really shouldn't be called mindfulness when you think no. of it. Because no. just what you said right there. Heartfulness. Saying, oh, I like that instead. Heartfulness. Heartfulness. But just what you said was so key that instead of labeling it yeah. grief, I, mm -hmm. you decided love it's and separation. separation. Because there's many That's qualities of such love. such a different And I concept. could be there and I could feel my deepest feelings and cry when it would come. And it would go, yeah, yeah, just, and then you're, you, because it, it's all love. Okay. It sounds like a big challenge. It was beautiful, though. But it was beautiful. It was that beautiful. sounds She came home to her mom. That was the best, too. Oh. Mm -hmm. So she had been somewhere else when she came back. She lived in L.A. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So she mm -hmm. came to visit you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, so inspired. I could inspired. be there and take care of her, her last breath. And you know, we, we could all feel guilt for all the things we could have, should have, would have. But that's the way it was. And the guilt doesn't change it. And the fear doesn't change it. And it's not death. It's a fear of death. Because people believe they'll lose all their stuff and they're this and they're, but you're not your stuff and you're not your body and you're a divine being and you already have a spiritual body, but you've been ignoring it because you're going into the mental body. Leave the mental body, go into the heartfelt body. Use your intelligence, but most of our intelligence is geared towards what we've learned. Yeah. Like even, well, what's the criteria of beauty? Well, I took art classes, so this is beautiful. Well, wonder if that's not my idea of beauty. Exactly. So then I'm a beauty critic. I'm going to tell you it's no good because it's not right because I told you I got the rules. Or you. you get these rule makers. You know how many laws there are? Too many. Libraries. <laughs> they, all well, we, we need don't is, need most of All them. we need is the light down the middle of the road. Stay on that side. I'll stay on my side. We're fine. Okay, let's go. Yeah. But, you know, really divine people don't need rules and laws because they're, they're guided by divine law. Yeah. Of caring and loving and empowering. And and uh, if we really look at that our work is to work for the welfare of others. That's what you're doing. You're doing this. You love to do it. I love it. And it's also how many people it's enriching. That makes me so happy. Yeah, and you're, yeah, see, you're sharing and your you're beauty oh, and your nice. happiness and everything. It's so great.
Thank you. Your kindred soul. Yeah, yeah. That was great. I just, you know, what, Gypsies. you inspired me so much over the years and got me out of a lot of negative things. Oh, I'm so glad. Uh, one of her books I loved was What You Think of Me is None of My Business. Still selling. Love that I book. love that book. And I was going to write an update, but it doesn't need it. <laughs> that title is killer. What You Think of Me is None of My Business because it's just thought. Yeah. They're just thoughts. And that just like cuts out a lot of crap where you yeah. just can go, you know what, I don't even have to think of it that way anymore because it really isn't any of my business. No, no, it's none of my business. We make our business. And then I'm going to take the garbage in their mind and I'm going to take it and I'm going to give it meaning and I'm going to give it feeling and I'm going to depress myself. I'm going to go, you know, blow my brains out and do all these things because you don't like me. Who are you? I know when my one of my granddaughters... Her boyfriend dumped her, and I said, fantastic. <laughs> she looked at me like, Grandma, what are you talking about? I said, yeah, get rid of the bum. Go, move on. Yeah. Well, that's good advice. Yeah. She took her two years before she thought she was good enough because she let someone else decide if she's okay or not. Really. Right. And it can work the other way, too. Every, uh, every way. When you do the breakup of, like, going, wait a minute, that doesn't feel right. No, I know. And it, it's all of our, the way we do relationships. I like loosely coupled. Nice. Because you're you, and I mean, I, I like to know, I like to experience people as they are, not how I want them to be. Yeah. How boring. Well, but it can get to a place where it just doesn't mesh. No, if it doesn't mesh, it doesn't mesh. You know, it's and fine. then just trying not, yeah, you do try, sometimes you try to get the, oh, uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> well, I, mar I even married a psychopath once. Uh-oh. But, but, you know, that was great because now I know what it's about. I had yeah. no idea. And well, passive-aggressive, you have no idea what they're like. And they're very, oop, they're not curable in the sense because they don't yeah. take responsibility. If right. you don't own it and get That's how you did it, you, 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 you can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. You're just, your whole life is getting even. Your whole, that person's whole life is making the other people feel miserable. Like a psychopath enjoys the pain of others. That's how they've been abused so much. No. But just because they've been abused doesn't mean I need to be with them. Yeah. Not yeah. at all. Your latest book. Tell us about that. Well, Live Your Bliss. Live Your Bliss. And and it, it bliss is actually the state of being without thinking. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. And it isn't the, to it isn't the goal of life. Yeah. It's where you start from. <laughs> That's a total reversal. Yeah, you don't you don't need to you don't need to get it. You already got it. But then how? Okay, I get what you're saying. But how would a person get that if they were just like in misery to like start with bliss? It's like I mean, I feel happiness is a choice. Happiness is different than bliss. Oh, okay. See, this is one thing okay. I learned from the Betas. There's distinctions. There's subtle distinctions of everything. It's don't not tell. just a blank. Love, no. And love is, doesn't have an opposite. Fear is not the opposite of love because then you're elevating fear up to the level of love because mm. opposites need each other to exist. Love does not need fear to exist. Mm -hmm. Fear does not need love to exist. Yeah. And even the opposite of love is not hate because love is an absolute. That's us. When you break down into duality and relativity, then it, it fractures the true light and it, and it fragments the light. So basically you get the duality light and dark battling each other. Okay. So that's how the mind operates. It's a dualistic tool. It's okay. an app. <laughs> it's an app. Yeah, okay. And it's, we don't have an app. We don't have a reptilian brain. We did not evolve. And then that, I don't really believe all the Babylonian, Sumerian stuff. I think it was all made up. I think it was all put, make us think that, uh, that uh, we're not who we are. And even in the body. I, yeah. I just, you know. You differentiate between feelings and emotions. Yes, I do. Explain that. Okay. Feelings that are natural. Uh -huh. You have compassion. You could tell if you're, you're a human or not. You care. Uh, you love. Uh, love is an absolute, but it means you, you, you work for the welfare of all. Everything you do is not about just me, but how is this going to be good for the earth, for the animals, for the plants, for the other people, for all living entities. You're saying that's feelings. That's feelings. Okay. Real feelings are, are, feelings are very divine. Okay. And when we start to believe or react, most people are always reacting mm -hmm. to the outer. Mm -hmm. Instead of, because this is the effect, but they're letting the creation control them. 
Yeah. So then they're always reacting. Well, the day it was sunny, it was cloudy. Uh, <laughs> right. That person said this. They didn't like me. You know, that person likes me. You know, uh, 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 I've got this big thing today. I'm a nervous wreck. And then I got this. And they're affirming <laughs> it to it. They're oh, saying, right. all the time talking about how bad they feel. And then you tell somebody else, agreement creates reality. So now they're agreeing with you about your miserable existence. So it becomes more set. Mm -hmm. Because it's all in the mind. Yeah. So the emotions then are so powerful that when you go to like a sporting event or you go to any big thing that gets everybody, you get people hating and liking. That's why people, they just say, well, I'm a, I'm a Whig or I'm a Tory. I'm a Republican. I'm a Democrat. <laughs> I'm in the resistance. I'm in the this. I'm in the that. You know, it's yeah. just stupidity. It's because it's just, it's, it's, it's using people. Yeah. To get them to take sides because you got to have a fight. Because in duality, there's always a fight. So the how good guy is the bad guy. The feeling go to the emotion. I want to get The bridge. feeling goes to the emotion. When, when you leave your center okay. and you go to the mind uh -huh. and then you start um, emotionalizing your words, your thoughts. Just remember words and thoughts, they're sounds. Okay, so it doesn't sound like emotions are so great. They're not good. It's more like the feeling thing, stay in the feeling yes. thing, don't go to the emotion when part. When you get into the emotion part, you're misdirecting your divine emotions that would manifest for oh. you to manifest fear, anger, hatred, war, sickness, all of that. That's uh -huh. what emotions do. All negative emotions are destructive, and fear turns off your immune system instantly. Instantly. Oh, that's why. So keep everybody in fear. Then they're sick and they, they got to have pharmaceutical. And then we have to raise the price. you got to raise the price. Oh, yeah, now, yeah, you can't even afford it now. Oh, yeah. So 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 sorry we leave you out there in, there in the street. We say, great, let me heal myself and get up and get out of here. No, it's true. I don't. See, I think I was lucky because I had a pioneer great-grandmother. She sounds great. She so when great. you went, when you were a year and a half, mm -hmm. that's how... Mm -hmm. And it just, because it, it sounded great. I start, I was reading about that. You were running and playing yeah. and in the oh, nature and oh, stuff. Great. I mean, you start out that way. I was like, how did it turn out well? well? It was great. Yeah, and I realized. But see, if a person would really look to see how perfect their parents were and their yeah. family, but they say, oh, no, because I didn't get this and I didn't get that. Well, hey, you, you're who you are. You mm -hmm. got it all. You mm -hmm. never lost it. But now you're blaming them and this and this for all this, which is, you even think you can't even have a better moment tomorrow? I mean, so they've accepted all of this, and they're doing it to themselves. And yeah, I know. You're right. And when you think about, you know, I've met, I met two friends I've different had. They were thrown away in a dumpster at birth. They became therapists. Wow. Help themselves, help others. Do they remember? The, well, they, they knew that's where they were found. They were sent to an orphanage. Yeah. Wow. They were found in a dumpster. They must, on some level, remember that trauma, even if well, they buried it. Maybe it wasn't trauma. Maybe it was trauma. How do we know? I well, don't know. Well, that's don't know. true. Maybe it was the best thing that could happen maybe. if their parents were awful. Yeah, maybe. To put them, I mean, that's pretty awful. Well, yeah, but you look at all the awful things that we've done. We've all done awful things. Well, that's true. At that's some true. level, but yeah. it's not. That's when we start to realize your mind has been infected, and I call it like a mind virus, where the person doesn't know the difference between truth and false. So, are you saying that it could change in heartbeat? You that can, whole in a, attitude in a second. Okay. Month. See, that that's so much more. You hopeful. can change right now because right now, yeah. If you. Just for, here's the key. Start watching your thinking. Just yeah. watch it. Oh yeah. Do, just start looking at where is it going to go. Mm -hmm. If I if I fillet you, where's that going to go? <laughs> well, you're going to fillet me. Okay. Is this how I want to spend my life? We're filleting each other, you know? Or do I want to do my projects? Do I want to hike yes. in the mountain? Do I want to do my meditation? Do I want to sing my song? You know? No, I'm just going to resent everybody and everybody and everything. Well, go for it. Is that working for you? <laughs> There's other choices. We're ramping up. Terry is amazing, and I'm and so Harry, glad that... Mary's amazing. We, oh, thank we found you. We found kindred souls. Yay. It's true. You know, we're not against anybody. We don't need to be against this. What are you for? 
Right. So what much, for? all the fear takes so much of our energy that people aren't really looking at their lives. They're so afraid of what's going to happen to me in the future. What's going to become of me? You're an eternal being. You can't die. You better get it. <laughs> That's well, the good and the bad news. I love what you just said. Say that again about the fear makes you look out and get fearful of other things. What did you just say? It was profound. It was brilliant, but good thing it's on there. <laughs> I want to say it again. Again. Something about being fearful and then, oh, you get so focused on looking yes, out. Yes, You're not living your own life. That you're not. Mm -mm. That's no. right. And, and if you thought of what you wanted, where's it going to come from? Movies you've seen. Books you've read, what they told you, what yep. the magazines say. So you have no original ideas. In the duality, there's nothing original. It's all a copy of the divine. So if you're in the divine, you're unlimited. That's exciting. Now. Yes. Now. There's no future or past. Right. It's now. And all the power is now and you've got it. It's all now. Mm -hmm. And another thing you said I loved, I want to reiterate, mm -hmm. was that Instead of getting all caught up in this, I'm mad at this, I don't like this, I don't like that, do it. I want to do my projects. Do your projects. I want to do some cool stuff today. What am yeah. I focusing on this, this for? for? Yeah, I know. It's really it. It really is. And what happens is if we're so involved in the outer media and what we're being, I, one of my students is a, um, studying to be an art therapist. Yeah. And she's older, so... Mm -hmm. um, in the class, the teacher's telling all the students, you can't get a job, there's nothing good out oh. there, you're never going <laughs> to oh, happen. Oh, that's encouraging. And, and all the, that's what people are telling students. Oh. That's what, and so my, my students said, you know, I don't accept that. Good. And the teacher didn't pay any attention to her anymore. No. Oh, oh boy. Wouldn't call on her anymore? No. That's envy. Of course it's that's envy. That's envy. That's because... nasty envy. Nasty. nasty, vicious to tell people, no, this is what you're going to do. You're going to get a job at this fast food restaurant and that's it. You know, you can't, where's the creativity? Where's the life for? Everybody focused, well, the money's over here. The money's over here. What was it? The bank robber, Willie Sutton, was one of the first bank robbers. Yeah. And the psychologist in jail, like, oh, why do you rob banks? He says, that's where the money is. <laughs> so just be a banker, right? Yeah. I know. Right? I know. Oh and the banks gosh. are the two sides of the currency. The banks hold the currency. Yeah. So the currency, it's all, uh, it's uh, the, the country, and I think the world is run on maritime law. That's why the birth canal. I know. Well, how do we ever call it the canal? Because it's, it's an ugly. Because the product is born through the birth canal, and then it gets a, a certificate of arrival from the dock. <laughs> door the guy at the dock <laughs> it's over there well i had a midwife and had my baby you home did. yes oh it's my daughter did that too she homeschooled him up to college amazing Bru beautiful you did that oh well i i didn't want to go to the hospital no, no. go in there where people are sick oh, i know scary it was scary to me it, yep. it was. And at the time that I did it 30 years ago, people were like, what is, why are you doing that? Well, people did it before that. That's what I said. When they tell people oh, milk is bad, yeah, what they've done to it now, what they've done to the cows. But raw milk, I, I get raw milk up here. I own part of a cow. Oh, nice. I own the faucets. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to get good raw milk. Oh, it's so good. And I make my kefir. Nice. You can make your butter. Do you make butter? I made it once. Well, yeah, you it can just quite shake good. it up. Really? You know, yeah. But I, I can, yeah, I can get it from there, too. But, uh, you know, it's really looking, take responsibility for your health. Yeah. Why would you just turn anything over to somebody else to tell you what to do when if you study it, it's not that difficult? That's right. I think what happens is people get lazy. They're lazy. And don't try and just go, okay, you said this, so, and okay. And it becomes a status symbol. I had this operation nobody's ever had before. <laughs> then I got mine, and I got all. I got new knees, a new head, and new eyes, a new butt. New head. I got the whole deal. Hopefully, you got a new head. <laughs> I got the whole new deal. I but, know. Okay. You know, you're right. Sometimes when people are doing their litany of their medical things, oh, yeah, I'm like, I'm so uh, proud of oh, I just don't even want to hear this anymore. I know, blah blah blah. It's all blah blah blah. Fifteen blah. minutes more of this. Okay. I know. I, you're right about that. I never really thought about that. Uh, one of the things that kind of 
bothers me is when people keep going on and on about something like that. That it's like, why are we are we really glorifying? The, I mean, yes. do we really have to hear all this? I want to stop them. No, I know, I know, I know. That's why I'm I'm mostly a hermit. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Or I don't know what a Seclusion female hermit is. The is. price of greatness. Well, you know. What it is, is because I love people, mm -hmm. so yeah, when I'm do. out there, I'm with people, but I really like being alone because I, you know, write and I study. Yeah. And I also like just hanging out, watching the birds, and I, you know, in mm -hmm. the yard, and mm -hmm. uh, also I'm doing gardening up here, which is a challenge because more than likely starve to death because the critters, <laughs> are, they'll get your food. I mean, you know, yeah. squirrels are acrobats. They say, thanks a lot, I was waiting for it to get just ripe, and then I'll get it. But you go, okay, they got to live too, you know. You're they a adjust. true yogi, living on the edge <laughs> of the town, the wise Oh, I am. Woman. I'm a yogi. Oh, my God. Yeah, I do all my yogi things. You are living on the edge of town, <laughs> being a goddess. Well, yeah. That's chop what yogis wood, do. Chop wood, carry, carry water. water. And you know why? Because you become self-satisfied. Because the divine is with you, and you're never lonely. Yeah. You're, you're actually always, you're really happy. And the happiness is our natural state of being, which is the joy of appreciation, of beauty, and of the, you know, and the sweetness, and just being who you are. And I might be obnoxious. I could be obnoxious. I no, know, you're not. Because I'm, you know, I'm always that kind of... You're like wonderful. This. We're wonderful. We are, aren't we? <laughs> we are, we are, Thank we are. Thank you, Terry. I know, Mary. Thank you and what all you're doing. I'm so glad you're here for a while. Yeah.